Hey, good rainy Saturday evening, everyone. I am trying something a little different. This is one of my junk journals. <clears throat> That's actually my first junk journal. This is the one that I'm here about today. I just made this one, and I made it for my mother. Um, last fall, we went to California. We flew into Fresno, and we went to... Um, Okay, we stayed in Coarse Gold, we went to the Sequoia National Forest, we went to Yosemite, we went to Santa Cruz, I spent some time in Hollister, um, in the San Juan Bautista area, and we just had a wonderful, wonderful time from the very beginning. It was the first time my mom and I have ever done anything like that. It's not her first time in California, but it was my first time. Um, we met up with a bunch of her cousins, and it was just a blast. We got to see my Aunt Tina. I got to see my Lynn for the very first time in person and squeeze her. So it was just an amazing time. <clears throat> and I wanted to make a junk journal junk journal for my mother. Um, I have made two. Uh, I've made my first one. I've made this one. I made one for some friends that we went on a cruise with, and I've made one for my nephew, Jackson <clears throat> and that was a really really fun one it was a big huge crazy one and had all kinds of crazy stuff in it because he was four at the time he's five now but I just kind of wanted to do a flip through with you this one here I did the binding with um, Baker's twine I used an old book cut out the inside of it and used it and I tried because I know some people are very sensitive about the old books that you use. So I try always to use something that is very generic, non-special, you know, that there's many, many prints of. And this was, I don't even remember what it's called now. So I, I do take that into account before I destroy a book doing this. But um, on the cover to start, this was a postcard. And I just cut it and kind of layered it on there so it would fit. And this pine cone actually came from, um, I bought it at a gift shop in Sequoia. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go over, I mean, I'm really not going to go into detail of the pictures. I'm just going to kind of show you the neat things that I used for the pages. This one has four signatures on the inside. And I'm actually going to start making another one, hopefully... Maybe tonight I might get started on it. It's um, it's seven about seven o'clock now, and I just I get so excited about doing these, and I just can't hardly help it. So the next one I'm going to do is going to be of mine and my husband's trip to Gettysburg, and I've got tons of good stuff from there. So I'm just gonna like I said, I'm gonna show you kind of the stuff that I used in it. And how I made it all come together. And um, and then once I'm done with that. Because I'm pretty much finished with everything that's going in this one. And then I'm going to give it to my mom. I've told her that I'm making her one. And she's seen the one that I made for my nephew. And she kind of seen the one that I did that was my first one. But this one is totally, totally different. And this one has been my favorite to do so far. I actually went to our local peddler's mall last night. And bought a couple more um books with nice binding in them because this is how I think I want to do the next several ones that I do. So here we go. So <clears throat> I absolutely love these vellum envelopes. I love them. And this red page here was part of a folder. And you can see the tab up here on the other side of it. This paper was just some 12 by 12 paper. And I use, that's my crazy aunt. I mean, you can't tell which one though because of the mask. But um, I have a bunch of Mad Libs. I got into those, oh man, probably 10 or 15 years ago. And I have bunches of them. Just so happens that I found one about Yellowstone National Park, which we weren't there, but it was still kind of cool to have one with the parks. And then I went through and filled in all the things that it asked with answers that related to our current trip. And I had a tag that I had made and included a picture of my niece and I. This uh, background was just out of a magazine. There's just a cool sunset. <clears throat> um, this here is a paper sack that I used. And these stickers, um, there's quite a, not quite a few, probably about five or ten of these through here. The little binoculars came out. They came from Michael's. Um, and I love, I'm going to see if I can get another one from these. I'll have to ask her. This here, I don't know if you can see this background part here. This is a pharmacy bag that um, 
Laura, her mom lives in Albany, Kentucky, and the pharmacy she uses has these really, really cool bags. You see little skeletons and stuff. I wish you could have seen it before I um, put anything on it, but they're really cool. I want to see if she can get me, oh my goodness, a couple more. I am so sorry. Apparently, I'm going to have the hiccups, and I don't want to start this video over. I am so sorry. So there's the other half of the pink bag. This one's stuck together a little bit. I don't know why I'll have to figure that out. So, and I wasn't really going to go into the pictures, but I love this picture of my mom. I think, I mean, everybody thinks their mom's beautiful, but I'm very partial to mine. I really think she's beautiful. But it just so happened that I noticed when she was looking, I could see the reflection of what she was looking at in her sunglasses. So I had her kind of stop for a minute and motioned her around so I could take a picture. Um, this is a Bridal Falls is in that one. And I don't remember exactly what that's called. I know it's horrible. The trip was so fast and there was so much to take in. I can't remember exactly what that is. But this is what's across from Bridal Falls. And these are my favorite pictures of her. I think they just sum up our trip. I love my mama so much. Um, and this page here. Yeah, we're just getting back to where um, we're on the other ones now. See, there's the tab from the red folder that I used. And this was an actual page out of this book. And there's another one of the stamps from <clears throat> from uh, from Michaels. And there is some washi tape down in here that I used to kind of hold everything together. I had a, I don't know, I could not figure it out how to get this one together. Oh, I made I made another one. I made one and sent to my aunt Tina in California. And I made one for Lynn. I forgot that I had made so many of these. Um. But I don't know why I thought, oh, I'm not going to use the baker's twine to secure it to the cover, like this part. I was just going to do the signatures with the baker's twine and glue this in, and that did not work. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought it would work that way, so I had to take it kind of apart, pull it out, and go through with the baker's twine and do it. But I have this really cool tool that came... <clears throat> with a kit, an old kit that I found in one of our halls that was a journal kit for leather binding. And it's got this thing. And um, I just keep my needle for my Baker's Twine tape there with some washi tape. But you see, it's kind of hollow in the end. And I just open it up and put it on this. And then I have this little tiny hammer. And you can just go boop, boop, and twice. And it pops a perfect little hole in there. And it's not nearly as dangerous as... <laughs> I see some people with the big um, needles and the, the punch tools and stuff trying to get them through there, which is fine. But I, I don't have real well depth perception and stuff, so I'm a little dangerous when it comes to stuff like that. So I kind of just, I really like that. That's really, I have no clue what it's called, no clue where it came from. But, um, and there's another tag that may look horrible, but it was actually a flower that was in one of our meals in a salad. I think it was edible, but I wasn't going to eat it. And this is 12 by 12, <clears throat> 12 by 12 paper again. I love this cowboy paper. You'll see it again back in here. I try to use it on everything that I can. And this was a sack from, um, from the Yosemite gift shop that I put in here. And always whenever I'm out, I try to get maps, um, like at the rest areas and stuff where they have free maps. So I've got some maps that I had gotten from there. And a vellum page. And this is just an extra scrap page of paper that I had whenever I first got my um, Inka Dinka Doo gear. And I was stamping around on the back playing. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool. I might keep that. So I did. And let's see. We're just going back through it again. Then there's the map. And the back page of the map. This is the other end of that um, gift bag. There's that cowboy paper. I just love it. And it's so cool. I wish they had it in wallpaper still. I mean, I know probably in the 50s they had it and it was pretty awesome. But I don't know where I got the rest of my stickers. I got them off all kinds of different things. But they were really fun. This is an actual rub on. This is the first time I've ever used a rub on. I really liked it. I didn't think I would. And I've got several of them. And I thought, well, I'm just going to try it and see what it does. And I really like that, the outcome of that. It was really nice. And this, again, is another page um, out of the book that I took apart and some washi tape. And this was an envelope that was way too big. So I cut it down and used washi tape to size it. And I don't think I didn't put anything in there. Um, this was a trifold um, card, like stationary. 
that goes inside of it, here's the other half, and it folds together, and I just put one lip of it through here, and this was just a piece of felt. It was kind of an afterthought. I was trying to come up with my last signature, and I felt like I couldn't find anything. I guess I was stuck in a, I don't know, a junk journal, junk journaler's uh, haze, and just couldn't think of anything else and I found this and I really like the way it turned out in there for just something with a different texture and kind of soften it up a little bit. This was a large tag that I had used just playing with some uh, this is the Tim Holtz um, stain that I was playing with there well probably more like there <laughs> I don't think I was way out of shot but um, and some stamps that I had done a while back and I found those and and put those together and there was some chipboard stuff that I had got from Michael no I got that from Tuesday morning I got this chipboard stuff and again some more tags I had some black ones and I was just playing with some stamp stuff and thought I'd throw it in there and the other side of that big envelope and chipboard has some 12 by 12 paper this is a manila envelope that I had gotten in the mail this here was one of my favorite things that I put in there um, whenever I was in California my best friend and I got matching tattoos of um, koi fish and my aunt went to the sock shop in Santa Cruz where we got our tattoos we kind of split up and everybody kind of went and did their own things in different places and she went and got us socks with koi on them that matched our tattoos and it was so nice they came in a little box it was great I didn't get a chance to go into the sock shop I love socks so I think next time I'm gonna try to make a point to go there again and um, I had a ticket from where we went on went well watching and if any of you've seen my craft tour video, uh, craft room tour video, you'll see that I'm a huge Hello Kitty fan. So I thought I'd throw that in there for my mom. She would appreciate it. Um, this page came out of, <clears throat> out of a tractor supply catalog. And the reason I took it was because of this right here. And one time when my dad was in the hospital, I, I think he was in his right mind. You know, sometimes they give you medicine or whatever. My dad is such a funny guy. Um, but he said that he had saw something down whenever that he went past the window in the gift shop. And he said it was, he told me it was like a cow and a pig and a chicken and all this on top of each other. And it was cast iron. And I thought, he's crazy. So I went down there and sure enough, it was in the window. So I bought it for him and brought it back up there. And uh, I gave it to him to give to her because he said he wanted to give that to her. So I thought that was cute that that was there. And it kind of had a little story that she would probably remember. Um... Uh... And this is just a piece of, it's not really vellum, it's almost like tissue paper. It's really nice. <clears throat> kind of goes with the, the water of everything in there. And the other end of the bag, we're just going back through everything now. And the, yeah, in California, they do, where we were at, they have tarantulas, which was really kind of awesome. And we're back to our flight home. And that's about the end of it. So, and I just labeled it. <clears throat> and I ran this ribbon through this one here. I, it needs tightened up, but it's not really affecting anything. And it's such a pain. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to undo it. So, I don't know. I'll figure something out to do with that. But I just ran that through there so that um, the ribbon would stay attached. And you could just easily tie it back up. But now that I have made the video of that, now I think I was going to just take it to her and give it to her. But you know, it's kind of fun to get packages in the mail, <clears throat> especially when you're not expecting them. So I think I might stick it in the mail to her and surprise her with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the other one that I have out here, this one looks huge, but it's not completely done. <clears throat> and this is probably one of the first ones that I started. Excuse me. My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> this one is for our trip to, we went on a cruise in February last year over my birthday. So I put this on there. It's got a little amethyst in it. <clears throat> I love this little doorknob thing on here. Love it. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. I have to play some kind of entertaining music over that. That's horrible. I do apologize. <clears throat> 
So this one was for our cruise. And these pages were all already in, there, in here. I just went through and stamped them and decorated them. There's some birthday cards in there. I put all this stuff in there. And I was really just, just learning about junk journaling whenever I made this one. It was still really fun. And I really enjoy having it. It's got a <clears throat> picture inside of it. And some tags. This here was um, our passes are like your card that they give you on the cruise or something i don't even remember what was on <laughs> it was a year ago so i put it in there and put we made this mask at arts and crafts on the cruise and uh that's my big boy shelton b <clears throat> i mean this one was really really fun i could make another one like this but it just didn't feel as creative as the other one did. At the time it did, because it was my first one. But then now that I know how to do the other ones, this is a, um, it was my birthday while we were on the cruise, and my brother had our room decorated. And this was one of the magnets that they decorated with, because, you know, the rooms are all, like, metal. And it was a envelope. And, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> And this is where we went to Mahogany Bay. Just some notes. I'll just flip on through here quicker. Try to show you this book. We have several of these books. We actually got them in our haul. I've got one that's got red in it. <clears throat> and then I've got this one. And I really, I like that it already comes with the little pockets and stuff on it. Because all you have to do is um, decorate them. I'll have to show you our very, my very first junk journal that I tried to make out of envelopes and it was in anticipation of Laura and I getting our first craft haul. Before our first craft haul we really didn't have anything crafting. So we were at work one day and it's amazing when you don't have <clears throat> all the stuff around you like the big craft room and all that and you're giving such a little bit of stuff to make something out of. It, it's really fun and neat to see what you can come up with because we have so much at our fingertips now with you know all this stuff and <laughs> we've used you know gum packets and stuff from the dollar tree which don't get me wrong there's nothing from the dollar tree it just was not normal craft stuff from the dollar tree um this is from when we went to the piano bar so really i haven't finished much of the book past this because it got so thick that you couldn't hardly close it anymore and this stuff is not very giving right here um anybody that knows me knows that this is my doodle and as far back as junior high this stuff was on my notebooks it's on everything i doodle this all over everything if it's if it's there i've put it there because i was doodling <laughs> but there's really not much more from the um cruise back through here it's just where i've decorated these pages in anticipation of putting something <laughs> from the cruises on them and i may um, now that I'm really getting back into junk journaling, go back in and finish this one. <clears throat> it's got all kinds of fun little envelopes. Um, this is probably the first thing I really made from our our first haul. The, the one that started it all. <laughs> the haul that started it all. <clears throat> so, And you see there's still so many pages back here. I hate... I, probably only need the pages like up to here to finish but then it's still got all this back here that if I could get this out of here without damage in it either one of them somehow I mean these are really good pages they these are all envelopes here I don't know if you can see that and these are really nice photo pages it just you know holds like four of them I may try to fill the whole thing up and just not put <clears throat> as much decoration in them just maybe fill it up with words and and pictures and stuff because I probably actually have enough pictures to fill it up and also um like I said it was my birthday while we were on the cruise and my husband went to um, the cruise shop and bought me a carnival cruise 12 by 12 scrapbook that I also need to finish and I feel like this stuff is getting away from me really really fast and I'm afraid I'm going to start to forget things because I don't have a very good memory um and uh, I, I need to to do that one as well but i just wanted to share these two with you guys and i'm going to be starting another one i may take progressive pictures of the next one but i just wanted to show you what i've been up to we'll talk to you later bye